माधवा कुंजा बिहारी गोपी जनवाला गिरिवार धारी यशोडनंदना भ्रजजानरंजना यमुना तीरावनचारी जय राधा माधवा कुंजा बिहारी हरि कृष्णा हरि कृष्णा 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 हरि हरे हरि राम हरि राम 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 हरि हरे Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Prabhu Pat, Prabhu Pat, Prabhu Pat, Sri La Prabhu Pat. Nitai Gora Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Nitai Gora Hari Bo. Джавим Бишн Пале, Пана Махан Ксатри, Раджи Кицари, Аштат Ашта Шишимат Рим Гасвайм Бхайчан Рим Бхакти Дан Свами Шила Прабху Пале Ки Иджай. Гранта Рад Шимат Бхагавата Махапурана Ки Иджай. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. Джай Шишил Гуру Гаванга. Джай Шила Прабху Пале. Ом Намо Бхагавате Васу Девая. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narattamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam 
तथो जयो मुधीर येत नष्ट प्रयेशो भद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवतुत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर भवति नैष्टिके यम स्वानुभाव मकिलम शुचिसार मेकम मध्यत मदी पमतिति तीर्षतम तमुंधम संसारिनम करुणया हपुरा नगुक्यम तम व्याससून मुपयामि गुरु मुनीनम मुखम करुति वाचा लम फलगुम लंगयते गिरिम तत्क्रिपतम हम बंदे श्री गुरु निनतारिने वंचा कल्पतरुभ्यस्चा क्रिपसिंधु ब्याये वचा पतिता नम पवने भ्यो वैष्णवे भ्यो नमो नमः जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंदा श्री अद्वैता गदाधार श्रीवासरी गौरभक्त वृंदा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे हरे Today we are reading from Shrimad Bhagavatam Mahapuran. Canto 3rd, Chapter 16, Text Number 15. The Yoga Maya Yarabdha Paramistya Mahodayam Prachuk Prangjala Yobi Prah Prahrishta Kshubhita Tvacha Mataji, please. Te yoga maya yarabdha Nishtya mahodayam Prachur prajala yo vipraha Praharista kshubhita tvachaha Te Those Yoga maya ya through his internal potency. Arabdha had been revealed. Parameshtya of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Mahaudayam multi-glorious. Prachu spoke Pranjalayaha with folded hands. Vipraha, the four Brahmanas. Praharishtaha, extremely delighted. Kshubhita Tvachaha, hair standing on end. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. The four Brahmana sages were nevertheless extremely delighted to behold Him 
and they experienced a thrill throughout their bodies. They then spoke as follows to the Lord, who had revealed the multi-glories of the Supreme Personality through his internal potency, Yoga Maya. The sages were almost too puzzled to speak before the Supreme Personality of Godhead for the first time, and their hairs of their bodies stood erect due to their extreme joy. The highest opulence in the material world is called Parameshtya, the opulence of Brahma. But that material opulence of Brahma who lives on the topmost planet within this material world cannot compare to the opulence of the Supreme Lord because the transcendental opulence in the spiritual world is caused by Yogamaya, whereas the opulence in the material world is caused by Mahamaya. Om Ajnanati Mirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Litam Bhena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha So it's a very interesting, we have a scene now. Fukumaras came to Vaikuntha and some misbehavior of um, gatekeepers were there and they were so extremely angry. They were just boiling out of anger. And uh, here Supreme Personality of Godhead comes to the gate and trying to pray for his servants and request, please, 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 let them come back as soon as possible, please. And they are bewildered by seeing the opulence of Supreme Personality. And it's naturally because if, can you imagine you, you coming, simple person and the president of America coming to you and asking forgiveness. And you, you, you're speechless. But this is Supreme Personality of Godhead. And they actually became completely stunned and they could not speak even. They, they don't understand actually what's, what does it mean. Is he joking to us or just uh, uh, trying to be pleased with us? I mean, they couldn't understand him. And it's interesting that uh, <clears throat> that wonder, Ramancha Kampa Shruta Rangu Bajato, he became so stunned and wondering. Kavikarna Pura, he explains that uh, love starts with a wonder. It's called Adbhuta Bhava. Adbhuta. Everything starts, actually, relationships with Supreme Personality of God. Or any love actually starts with a wonder. And um, when people becoming too familiar, they become too mechanical, that usually a relationship dwindles and they become nullified and destroyed. That's what actually happened. Uh, you saw uh, familiarity brings contempt. In the beginning, everything new in Krishna consciousness. Wow, so amazing. Nice hairstyle, nice smell. And it is so beautifully gorgeous, you know. And after some time, people, oh, it's okay. I mean, what's the big deal? And we become familiar, and slowly, slowly, and as devotees also, we start to see dosa drishti, we start to see the faults in others, and uh, nothing new, and slowly, slowly, people fade away. And that uh, first um, impression, that taste, evaporates. But in spiritual world, Navayova Namcha, everything is ever fresh, ever fresh. And uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur actually explains in um, Prem Pradipa, he says that we can understand relationships in the spiritual world by experiencing wonder and observing this material nature. We can understand spiritual relationships by analyzing and observing material creation and relationships in this world. And we can see in the spiritual world we have Yoga Maya which is used in this verse. Yoga Maya. By the potency of Yoga Maya, Subhadra. Person can understand the opulence of Supreme Personality of Godhead. But by the Yoga Maha Maya, covering Maya, people become bewildered. They cannot understand the opulence by their logical understanding. Maximum they can understand, you know, this only Parameshtya, the topmost opulence of this world maybe if they have four heads of Brahma. But Lord Brahma, he says, some people may say they understand God, Maybe, Pranam, I respect them, but as for me, I cannot understand. By our intelligence, we can never understand Krishna unless He reveals Himself. It is explained in scriptures that we can never understand God 
नयमत्मा बलहीन लभ्य न मिधया न बहुन श्रुतेन नोट बै लर्निंग नैदर टू बै स्टडिंग एंड यू नो एज ऐ वॉज सेंग बै स्नोरिंग इन संस्कृत एंड डूइंग टेन थाउजेंड टाइम्स भक्ति शास्त्री बै भक्ति वै भाव एंड बिकम ब्यूटिफुल एंड ग्रेट इन दिस वर्ल्ड नो नथिंग अट्रैक्ट कृष्ण मन्ये धना भी जना रूप तपा श्रुतो जज प्रहलाद महाराज ही सेज नॉट बाय ब्यूटी नॉट बाय ऑपुलेंस नॉट बाय एजुकेशन नॉट बाय इंटेलिजेंस यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड गॉड अनलेस ही चूज यू इट इज एक्सप्लेन वी हैव टू डू समथिंग सो कृष्ण कैन नोटिस अस प्रसाद लेश अनुग्रहित एव ही जनाति तत्वम सो व्हाट इज दैट स्पेशल दैट वी कैन डू इन आवर लाइफ सो कृष्ण कैन नोटिस अस वी वर डिस्कसिंग अदर डे ना वी प्रेइंग दिस प्रेयर्स ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा कृपकतक्ष भाजनम सो श्रीमती धरानी वो लुक एट अस कैन लुक एट अस बॉ इज ए कॉर्नर ऑफ द आई लाइक दिस लाइक कतक्ष लाइक दिस नॉट इवन स्टेरिंग लाइक दिस बट जस्ट हु इज दैट हु इज डूइंग सम स्पेशल सर्विस सो वी हैव टू इंडियर आवर सेल्फ टू कृष्ण सो दे कैन नोटिस अस एंड देर आर सेवरल शक्ति एज वी नो इन कृष्ण क्रिएशन चित शक्ति एंड अचित चित शक्ति डिवाइज इन संवित संदिनी एंड हलादिनी संवित शक्ति दिस इज योग माया विच मैं वर्ड बाई बाई विच पावर वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड कृष्ण ऑपुलेंस एंड एप्रिशिएट हेम एंड भक्ति ठकूर एक्सप्लेन्स दैट इट्स ट्रांसेंस एंड रिफ्लेक्ट्स इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दिस थ्री शक्ति रिफ्लेक्ट्स इन थ्री मोड्स ऑफ नेचर इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड संदिनी दिस इज बलराम ही इज द ओरिजिनल क्रिएटर All way Kuntas emanates from Balaram, and actually Balaram is real God, generator, operator, destroyer. Krishna is just playing flute. He just he want to forget that he is God actually. And uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur explains that in this material world, Sandini Shakti transcends and reflects as a tamoguna, stable, grave, solid, inert matter. Tamoguna is Balaram. and the uh, khladini shakti by reflecting in this material world actually giving pleasure and enjoyment is rajaguna which is perverted reflection and of course samvit shakti yoga maya sattva guna gives understanding enlightenment so like that and there are three rasas he explains also in this material world and the, there is prithvi rasa earthly tastes right there's different taste as here and then he explains swargiya swargiya means emotional taste is there in living entity and there is vaikuntha rasa so different levels we have yantra tantra and mantra that's three levels and um, unfortunately in this material world people applying the um, rasas to understand and experience the object which is limited in this material world all the tastes and the attention applied for the object of this material world including you know this parameshthara level but it's temporary even lord brahma temporary therefore unlimited desire desire to be happy hmm atyantika sukha pravritti the desire of living entity to be unlimitedly happy is not fulfilled because everything has antavantah kavanti na teshura mate buddha it has ending and that's why it's explained that you know we trying to be i mean to wonder about this material creation but without seeing krishna behind that but devotees they can see in this creation always krishna mai pashyati sarvatra that's actually difference very interesting shila prabhupada explains in 8 canto bhagavatam in 9 chapter i believe 29 shloka 28 he said the demons and demigods they were churning the ocean the other day we were discussing huh? they were churning the ocean time place purpose everything was the same for both but some people got the nectar and the taste of amrita and the demons they didn't and propat gives very powerful purport i suggest you please read it at home very powerful he says that there are karmis and devotees even though karmis can be dressed in their dress of devotees but mentality can be of the karmis and karmis always depend on their own endeavor 
Therefore, they cannot get much more than their karma allows them. But devotees, they totally depend on Krishna. Totally. Rakshaititi Vishwa so Guptritvi Varnam Tata. That's why they can get beyond the limits of even their karma. Krishna can give unlimited, unexpectedly. And that's why devotees, wow, they're wondering. They're wondering. Far out, huh? Every day. Ramancha Kampa Shrutarango Bajo. Vande Guru Shri Charanara. They're wondering. And because wonder, Krishna is Avichinta Tattva. He is always ever fresh. And he's making devotee more and more puzzled and wonder. Krishna is unlimited. What a wonderful Krishna. <laughs> we need miracles in our life in order to increase our love. And in the spiritual world, always miracles. But in the material world, as we said, sometimes we become familiar and no miracles anymore. Especially people getting married, for example. Very common example. They're getting married and first year, first year, wife listening from the husband. I love you. All these movies, Hollywood and wife. And the next year, husband listening from wife. Get money. What is this nonsense? Lazy bum. Go and work money. And man sitting there thinking, oh my God. iPhone, iPod, iTouch, iPad. And I paid. I have to go and work for that. All these things. Husband listening from wife. Third year, third year of marriage. Neighbors listening, husband and wife. <laughs> Fighting. New fight, new, new fight. And fourth year, nobody listening anyone. Because there is no more divorce. <laughs> I read one article. It's explained actually. Three much. You know, this, in, in India, it's like caste system, caste. You know, and when girl and boy from different castes, they're getting married, parents not allowing them. In Nepal also, it's very strict. Only same caste must be, otherwise it's like big disaster for the family. And they wanted to get married. They wanted to get married together. And parents didn't allow, so they decided to commit suicide. They went to the skyscraper, some building, and they took the hand to hand and jumped together. Romantic jump, but lucky for them, it was balcony down. They, they could not fall down completely. They fall in between on the balcony somehow. They fractured themselves, whatever, and they were admitted in the ICU, ICU whatever hospital. And parents came, so they became again normal. And again they apply their proposal to the parents. We want to get married, and parents again told them no. They again decide, let's get to suicide. They stolen the car of the father and set both of them and fall down from the cliff of the mountain <laughs> in some river. <laughs> but somehow the car jumped in the river, you know, and they didn't die again. <laughs> what to do? Unsuccessful attempt. Again, they were saved and parents just like, what are you doing? Nonsense. And again, we want to get married. I said, no. Oh, right. So they got some two guns, you know, guns. And they pointed at each, at each other. <laughs> they pointed at each other. Okay, count. One, two, three. <laughs> finish. As they say in Hindi. So finish. Let's finish each other. And they locked in the room and they put the pistols. Okay, but don't shoot before me, okay? So just... They <laughs> and so they're about to start counting. And parents, they... Knock the door. Open the door. Open the door. Okay. Okay, guys, get married. Okay, what to do with you? And they hurry So they got, they got permission of the parents. But it's not the end of the story. It's like beginning. <laughs> they got them married, and guess what? After one year, badly divorced, you know. They divorced. They could not stay together. Why? Because it's called all these material rasas, they're not satisfying supreme. Uh, internal soul. That's why in spiritual world always wonder and parents, I mean uh, people in this world, they're coming together and after a few days nothing, no secrets anymore. From top to bottom everything known, everything already, no secrets, no any wonder, no any. That's why in Vedic society it's recommended that husband and wife should stay a little bit separately, no familiarity. Then they can maintain that wonder and you know, as they say, woman has to be a little bit un What's called unpredictable, un unknown, some secret, must, mystery must be always there. So men always a little bit hanker or something interesting there. But unfortunately in the material world everything becomes too much familiar and too much, you know, 
But in spiritual world, you never know what to expect from Krishna. Never. In Gopalachampu explained when Krishna lifted Govardhan hill and Brinjabasis, all the Brinjabasis, they saw hill was lifted and they saw already houses were made there for them. Everything was already, everything constructions, everything was Madhav Mahotsava. Everything was already ready made for them. They were, wow, fantastic, amazing, how wonderful Krishna. <laughs> you see, so we have to learn to see Krishna everywhere in each and every person. This is miracle. Actually, sometimes people need miracles. We need miracles to develop our attachment and faith. Shraddhanu Sari Bhakti Adhikari, you see. And uh, unfortunately, we're taking everything for granted, even in spiritual life. Oh, we're coming from Mangalarati. Namaste Natulasi Krishna Prayase. Govinda Madhipur. Snake Snake Hiri Hiri Brum Brum Brum. Snake 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 Hiri Brum Brum. Become mechanical. Then. I mean, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Sadira Abhidya Jha, a little bit more enthusiastic, of course. And then and everything became very, very mechanical, you see. I was telling many times this story. One devotee was chanting. And all of a sudden, somebody knocked his door. He said, who is that? So arrogant. <coughs> Opening. And instead of four Kumaras, there were three Yamadutas. <laughs> Those who are sleeping. <laughs> The church, come on, hey, excuse me, see, I'm Tilak, I am just chanting, I, how come you came here? I said, no, 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 Chitra Gupta sent us here, see, this is the address, it's correct, Vatsika. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, but I'm chanting, I'm chanting, see, I'm chanting. No, see, uh, my name is Shnik, he's Hiri, and he's Broom. You're always chanting us, Shnik, 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 Hiri, Hiri, Broom, Broom, Shnik, 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 Hiri, Broom, Broom, Shnik, 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 Hiri, Broom, Broom, Shnik, 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 Hiri, Broom, Broom, Shnik, Shnik, Hiri, Hiri, Broom, Broom. So our chanting become mechanical. Who we are calling? And we are not even impressed. Oh, it's okay. Because we are covered by these anarthas. So many anarthas. And they're covering us from being amazed. But we have to be actually amazed by Krishna calling. Wow, Krishna. So beautiful, Jagannath, so beautiful. We have wonderful opportunity. I have my exercise personally. Count the blessings every morning. Just you wake up and count your blessings. We, with our devotees, we did co competition. Who will count the biggest amount of blessings? And they, okay, mm, okay, I have two eyes to see, okay, to the deities, okay, well, I can play, I can speak languages, well, I can play harmonium, well, I can travel all the world, and the biggest blessings to come to, you know, uh, Rukmini Dwarakadish temple every year, wow, what a blessing, and I have blessing to have Maharaj always laugh at, during breakfast time, so many black blessings are there, but sometimes devotee depressed, everything bad, problem. They say in Nepali, Fuli Akama Fulia Sansar, Kataka Akama Kataka Sansar. In the eyes of flower, all world is flowery. But in the eyes of thorn, everything is thorny. I call them Duki Club members, you know. They frustrated people, those who are always looking for Dosa Drishti. But devotee, he never distracted by opulence. While non-devotee Karmi, they always distracted by the material opulence of Krishna and they want to see their personal sense enjoyment. But devotees, though Krishna is explained there uh, that uh, in Ananda Vrindavan Champu, Kavi Karnapura explains that when Varuna, Varuna stolen Krishna, I mean Nanda Baba, you know that story, right? He stolen him and then Krishna had to dive deep and go and meet Varuna. I, I'll show this guy. He comes there and he see Varuna worshipping Krishna. Then when saw Aruna, he well, and started to do gorgeous worship to Krishna. Nanda Baba, what is going on? He was, wow, what a worship to my Nanda Lala. And then he told, told all these coward boys, you know, you know who it's Varuna was worshipping Nanda Lala, our Krishna. They were wondering. Amazing. And then Krishna took them to Brahman, then to Vaikuntas, and they were disturbed actually. Their bhakti was crippled. They were so much disturbed without Krishna. In Hindi they say, in which bhajan there is no Krishna's name, it's useless bhajan, we should not sing that. Like Hanuman, Ramaduta Hanuman, one jeweler, jeweler gave him some garland, I mean garland is a jewelry, like jewels, mala to Ram, very precious, and Ram out of gratitude, give it, Hanuman, take it, it's for you. And Hanuman took these jewels, 
what is this monkey, this guy, I give you such a precious, I mean, jewels, and you give it to the monkey, and this monkey and throwing it out. And uh, Sita became a little bit disturbed. Hanumanji, sorry, we're feeling awkward, you know, because you get such a nice Mahaprasad, and you're just throwing it, what is this? Behave properly, you see, this, this guy donated, at least you can do it in your ashram, but don't do it in front of the donor. But, <laughs> but I want to see the essence, Saragrahi, what's that, what do you mean? I want to see, is there is Sitaram or not inside? If there is no Sitaram, useless, I don't need that. Bhagavad Bhakti Hinasya, Jivadapi Mrittu is dead body, dead matter. And this, you know, businessman says, what do you mean? Do you mean to, how are you alive? Do you have Sitaram inside? Of course I do. So, and you know that famous story, he just, and the Sitaram was sitting there. It's not allegory. I know in Allahabad, one Sadhu Baba, one Baba, he, was, he got heart attack and he was taken to the hospital and doctor told us they were operating and from the heart, from the heart, he heard the sound, Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya, Om Namo. From the heart. Wow, he became so impressed. <laughs> Kirtanya Sadahari. He, many, many, I was in Allahabad, president, we used to organize Kumbha Milas. I can tell you tons of miracles, you know, amazing things. So Krishna starts with a wonder. And, uh, but a wonder of this material world not bewildering devotee. Why? Because they, everything want to use for Krishna. While karmis, as Prabhupada says in that commentary, the karmis always wants to use Krishna's property for their personal sense enjoyment. Therefore, business of Krishna consciousness to expose such karmis, even though they are dressed in devotee's dress. Ding! Very powerful commentary. So don't think that devotion only just to put tilak and snik snik hiri hiri, I am devotee. We are kind of a long way to go. Anarthanivriti, you know, Ganatarala, Utsahamai, Vyuhavikalpa, Tarangarangini, so many things to overcome. And it's impossible to do alone. Prabhupada said, those who are thinking he can make it alone, he's insane. We need to have role model in front of us. And such a role model we have, Srila Prabhupada. One Srila Prabhupada was in New York and he was sitting on the sky, I mean, some room in the skyscraper. And then he came in the balcony to the balcony and he was looking at the traffic, you know. Pee -pee -pee, pa -pa -pa, pee -pee. So many cars moving and Prabhupada observing them. And for a long time he was looking and looking and looking. And his disciples, they were saying, wow, Prabhupada has awe and reverence toward New York. He's impressed by the skyscrapers and the opulence of our city. New York, Maharaj. He was impressed. They thought like that. And then Prabhupada said, hey, come here. And everybody just came, yes, Prabhupada, yes. Expecting means, meaning, wow, he will express New York, such a beautiful city, such an opulent city. Prabhupada said, look at that car. That car can be used for Rathayatra, for Jagannath. You see that car? This kind of car you can use for Jagannath, for Rathayatra. Oh, and everybody became so ashamed because they thought, Atmavan Manyati Jagat, as themselves, they projected their vision on Prabhupada. But Prabhupada was seeing everything in connection with Krishna. So many cars, but that car can be used for Jagannath. So in this way, you know, four Kumaras, they became devotees. First they were not really devotees, but then um, Kunjal Kamishra Tulasi Makaranda Vayuhu, by getting smell of this Tulasi leaf, what a powerful transformation, no? Isn't it? Shakti Parinamavada. And this miracle, if we are careful enough, I can tell you <laughs> a long time, it's a miracle happening right in front of our eyes. Transformation, what more miracle we need? Some, um, whatever, some magician came and started to show to Prabhupada, tum, tum, so many things. This, that, some rabbit, whatever, some, what, some, I don't know. He was showing so many things, manifesting. And then said, Swamiji, this is a miracle. What is your miracle? And Prabhupada was very grave. Then Prabhupada looked back and said, see, these young boys and girls, a little, time, a little before they were hippies, I make them into happies. That's my miracle. They were a hopeless case. <laughs> As I told you, Prabhupada said, I came to shave you. What? Save or shave? Both. So, 
Prabhup- anyone who come in contact with Srila Prabhupada, he was transformed. I mean, I tell you, not only was Prabhupada, was anyone who connected to Prabhupada. This is like electricity, you know, like that. You distributing books. I was Sankirtan leader for many years. So, and those Sankirtan devotees, they know what is a miracle book you give to people. Something happens to the person. Really, many stories. Once Srila Prabhupada was walking, I believe in New York also, and he was walking in Manhattan. It was shop, and there were, you know, sort of big, nice show window. And Prabhupada thought, wow, how nice it would be to display Bhagavatam here. So nice. It's looking so nice. So many millions of people can see Bhagavatam if I can display here. And he went, blim, blim, he opened it. The one lady was there, business lady. Ding. So, excuse me, can I display my books on your show window? What is nonsense? Get out from here. What is this nonsense? No display here. She was so angry. Like Fokumaras. <laughs> so angry and Prabhupada it's okay it's okay it's all right it's okay I'm old man can you give me a glass of water please okay and she went some got some glass of water can I have a seat please can you give me a chair I'm old man okay sit down drink some kind of compassion was there in Hindi they say if nothing then something has to be there so she was a little bit pious give him water Prabhupada sit down and peacefully drunk water and after he finished the water, he asked her, excuse me, can I display my books in your show window? And she said, yes, why not? Saeva sadhu shukrito moksha dvarama pavritam Prasanga majaram pasam atmanam kavayo viduhu Saeva sadhu shukrito moksha dvarama pavritam We know that attachment to the Mahamaya is cause of going to hell. But the same attachment to the sadhu and little bit se- seva Yet Mahat Sevaya Vipram Punya Tirthani Sevaya. People can get this. And a miracle happens instantly. Many times happens in all of us. And uh, when we're coming together, we're sharing these miracles. And when we become amazed, wow. We're developing our love for Srila Prabhupada. We're developing love for Krishna by seeing this miracle around us every day. You know, there's so many, many stories. Was somebody was telling, Dalim Maharaj was saying a story about pig pen. You ever heard the story of pig pen? One was men in France, they went to open temple and very uh, homeless guy was there in the bushes living uh, and he coming and they didn't allow him even to come inside the temple. Get out, get out. They call him like, I mean, pig pen, like so dirty like pig, you know. <coughs> Don't come, stinky. They never taking bath, nothing. And sometimes smell coming from them. How you can come inside the temple? Come on. So they were keep giving him some food, kitchen, whatever, but never allowed him inside the temple. And they called him pig pen. And then, you know, temple was constructed and Prabhupada came finally, because Prabhupada said, construct temple, I'll come there. If you construct, I'll come. And Prabhupada came and as usually he went for the morning walk and everybody like chickens behind him. Co, 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 co. Everybody went with him and Prabhupada was walking, this pig pen came out from the bushes. Oh, and some, hey. Prabhupada, Hare Krishna, I was surprised, what is this? Wonder. <laughs> then Prabhupada finished his morning walk and came exactly for Darshanarati, he came to temple. And everybody to the surprise, they saw the door to the temple room was open. And nobody was in temple because everybody wanted to be with Prabhupada. Except Pujari behind the curtain. So nobody in door was open. What is that? Everybody became stunned, cold sweat. No, who is there? Hopefully not Big Pan. And they came and Prabhupada went first and inside the temple room was Pig Pen sitting. And Prabhupada came and Pig Pen grabbed Prabhupada's feet, you know, like, huh, and everybody, oh no. And everybody watched what to do. And Prabhupada, get was, guess what? Prabhupada did, hey, don't, don't touch me, what is it? No, Prabhupada just hugged his head and started to pet him. It's okay, you're back home, you're back home, it's okay. And he, 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 he just was hanging him. And Prabhupada, Govinda Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. Darshanarati over. And Prabhupada said, Okay, okay, let me go. I have to give class. It's okay. Get, leave me, leave me. And he, he, he just left him. Prabhupada went, gave class, and went to his room. Now, what to do? Everybody's sitting. What to do now with this guy? <laughs> it's Prabhupada's house. He didn't kick him out. Who are we? And somebody said, come on, let's make him Brahmachari, Haribol. And they grabbed him to the bathroom, shaved him, 
clean him, give him some dhoti and said, big pan, from today you cleaning toilet and cleaning the pots in the kitchen, okay? No free kitchen anymore. You are temple devotee. And he started to do that seva. And a month later, devotees were going for Sankirtan. They went for Sankirtan and Pig Pen went, I want Sankirtan, I want for Sankirtan, Sankirtan. I said, come on, you don't know how to distribute books, Pig Pen, what is this? No, no, I want, I want. He jumped in Sankirtan when? And somebody said, all right, let him clean our pots in the kitchen. Let him clean the car, he'll do something. And after a long journey, to make it short, they came to some city, everybody tired, washing dhoti, sleeping, taking rest. Pig Pen grabbed one bag, filled up with, a, with the books, fully <clears throat> and went for book distribution so Sankirtan said, hey pig pen wait you don't know the prices you cannot give for free please wait gone so they destroyed dis disturbed come on this guy distribute for free such a loss and after a few hours pig pen returned back empty bag no I told you he'll distribute give for free and said, pig pen where is money and he opened the bag full of money so everybody became astonished how did you do that? In such a short time, so many books. I said, oh, I don't know. I never read these books. But then how did you distribute these books? And he said, I took the book and in every, our book, you know, we have the photo of Srila Prabhupada. And he took the book and he said, it was photo of Prabhupada and he, I was coming to people and said, Prabhupada save me, Prabhupada save me, Prabhupada save me. And people buying these books like hot cakes. If these guys were saved, okay, it must be some nice book. <laughs> Prabhupada saved me and ra later on he just, you know, became Sankirtan devotee. Prabhupada came, gave him initiation. He became Rasada Das. And some years ago he left body in Vrindavan in MBT. Is it not miracle? So many miracles. Anyway, I, we don't have much time. Otherwise we can do Prabhupada Katha. And Krishna does miracle everywhere. You see? Therefore, <clears throat> we are very, very um, grateful to Srila Prabhupada. We are grateful that uh, he gave us this vision, he gave this association of devotees. In human life, we have a gift, an opulence and a treasure. The true devotees of the Lord who want to give him pleasure. Keep Guru's order in the heart. Example his behold. To whom you meet, give Krishna's feet. Two lotuses to hold. Don't worry profit to the loss. Surrender life to supreme boss. And far and wide try spread his fame by chanting sweet and holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Srila Prabhupada Ki Thank you. Gandhra Chimad Bhagavatam Mahapurana Ki Jai Gaura Premanande Hare Gaura